the Orimo 3.3 to Orimo 3.4. Orimo has just released their brand new Freeport 4 and I got a lot of you requesting for a comparison video between the Orimo Freeport 4 versus the Orimo Freeport 3. And that is what we'll be covering in this video. The similarities, the differences and my recommendation. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel and let's get down to business. The price. Orimo Freeport 3 comes in at 18,500 Naira as of the time of posting this video. Why the Orimo Free Post 4 comes in at 21,500 Naira, the pre order price. And if you look at these two, you'll notice that there is a difference of 3,000 Naira. The first point goes to the Orimo Free Post 3. The core quality. From the testing I've done here and the testing I did off camera, they both did well handling phone calls and keep the conversation going. The Orimo Free Post 3 has a great microphone performance. However, I do like the performance of the Oramo Free Post 4 better because it sounds brighter and it was able to clamp down the noises. Here is a core quality test, you be the judge. Alright guys, so this is the core quality test of the Oramo Free Post 4 and this is what we'll be getting if we are using it to make a call right now. As you can see, there's traffic going on behind me and this is the core quality test. How does it handle the noises around me? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two. All right, guys, so I've switched over to the Orimo 3 plus 3, and this is the core quality test of the Orimo 3 plus 3. And this is what we're getting if we are using it to make call right now. So how does this sound? Is it handling the noise better than the Orimo 3 plus 4? Let me know down there in the comment section below. Testing, testing, 1, 2, 3. Testing, testing, 1, 2. The Orimo 3 plus 4 wins this category. The next difference we are going to be looking at is the sound quality. As you can see, we are getting straight to the point. So, in terms of overall sound quality and volume, they are pretty close. But if I'm to die down on which one has more bass on the fourth setting with no EQ or no period setting, I think I will give it to the Oramo Free Post 3. Reason is because the Oramo Free Post 3 has more punchy bass compared to the Oramo Free Post 4. The Oramo Free Post 3 concentrates on the bass and the mid, while the Oramo Free Post 4 concentrates on the mid then the bass and the tremble. However, you can get a similar sound quality from the Oramo Freepos 4 by using the Oramo Sound app. Please note that only Oramo Freepos 4 can use the Oramo Sound app right now. It is not compatible with the Oramo Freepos 3. And here is the EQ preset picture in case you want to tune it to the Oramo Freepos 3 sound quality. So in this category, I give a point to the Oramo Free Post 4 because of the equalizer hub. Or what do you think? Let's move over to the comfort. Both airbots are comfortable in the ears, and during my testing, I have no issue with any of these airbots. But I noticed that the Oramo Free Post 4 air tips are more comfortable in the ears compared to the Oramo Free Post 3. I think this is because of the shape of the air tips themselves, and the Oramo Free Post 3 has this over shape while the Oramo Free Post 4 has a more round or circular shape. The silicon material used for these head tips on the Oramo Free Post 4 is softer compared to the Oramo Free Post 3. So, the circular shape of this Oramo Free Post 4 contributes to the comfort side. Oramo claims that this has antibacterial properties, which is a big plus. For the comfort side, I'm just going to give both airbots one point each. Now to the battery life. When it comes to the battery life, both airbots offer decent battery life. The Oramo Free Post 3 has 45 mA for each of its airbots and 500 mA for its charging case, while the Oramo Free Post 4 has a bigger 60 mA for each of its airbots and 550 mA for its charging case. In real life testing, the Oramo Free Post 3 lasts for 7 hours 30 minutes at 70% volume, while the Oramo Free Post 4 lasts for 8 hours without ANC at 80% volume. All things being equal, using the Oramo Free Post 3 at same volume settings, we are going to have a winner which is definitely going to be Oramo Free Post 4. So a point for Oramo Free Post 4 here. Let's talk about gaming. The Oramo Free Post 4 has a gaming mode feature while the Oramo Free Post 3 lacks that. During my testing, I didn't notice any much difference using both airbots for first shooting games like PUBG, 
Call of Duty, Free Fire, and the rest. But when it comes to using it on classical games or games that have no graphic demands, both of them perform very well. The shooting sounds and algo which they came from are very clear and precise on the Orimo Freeport 4. So, if I'm to give a point here, I'm going to give it to both Airbots. Let's talk about the missing features. There are some things that you are going to find on the Orimo Freeport 4 but are lacking on the Orimo Freeport 3. The Orimo Freeport 3 comes with the multi-point connection which means that you can actually connect this Orimo Freeport 3 to two devices at the same time. And you can use it like using your laptop and your phone all together and if you have a call and you are playing music you can switch in between that is lacking on the oramo freeport 4. with that being said that's the only feature that i think would have been perfect if it is available on the oramo freeport 4. now let's talk about the oramo freeport 4. the oramo freeport 4 has a lot of features that actually beat down the oramo freeport 3. Starting with ANC, which is Active Noise Cancellation. We all know that this Active Noise Cancellation helps you to keep the environment at bay so you don't have those environmental noises coming in. You can listen to your music and enjoy yourself as you wish. Also, you have the Transparency Mode, which will make you to be aware of your environment when you need it too. Another feature that you are going to find on this Oramo Freepost 4 is the Google Fast Pair Connection. That means you'll be having this Google pop-up animation that comes up every time you want to connect it and also you'll be able to see your battery percentage on each of the AirPods and the charging case. This you can find on the Oramo Freepods 3. Also, you'll be getting the Find My AirPods, which means that you can actually find your AirPods if you misplace them. For example, maybe you left it somewhere on the couch or it slipped into your bedside or somewhere that you don't know where you kept it last. You can actually use the Find My Airbot feature to locate it. This is going to ring up and I think I'm going to make a video on the tips and tricks of the Ramo Freepost 4 shortly. Another feature that you are going to find on the Ramo Freepost 4 but not on the Ramo Freepost 3 is the EQ Hub. With this, you can do your EQ, you know, tweak it to your own taste. And the last but not the least feature is the better and faster charging rate. On the Ramo Freepost 4, you'll be having 10 minutes charge. Maybe you are in a hurry. And you want to charge it quickly you can charge it for 10 minutes and it is guaranteed to give you at least 120 minutes of play time depending on the volume that you use on it all this has convinced me that the oramo free plus 4 is better than the oramo free plus 3. in fact for the price it's just the best deal right now and if you ask for my recommendation here is it if you are using the oramo free plus 3 please upgrade to the oramo free plus 4 because it's worth it and if you are using the oramo free plus pro I think you have to just wait for my video on the Oramo Freepost Pro versus the Oramo Freepost 4. And I'll see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.